We will begin the program by recognizing the fall sport participants and their achievements throughout the season. Junior High Cross Country Head Coach Pat Shirt. Our junior high running Rams had a season they should be proud of. Working together, they were able to outrun a lot of tough competitors from surrounding schools. They ran with their hearts and their morale and the overall support they had for one another was truly admirable. 7th grade football, head coach Josh Day. This year's story of the Richland 7th grade football team is one of growth and improvement. They started the season with a few tough losses but continued to work hard at practice to build their skill level and knowledge base each day. By the end of the year, these Rams made huge strides as individuals and as a team. The highlight of the season was an exciting down-to-the-wire victory over Chestnut Ridge on Harlinger Field. We look forward to the continuation of the 7th graders' progress. 8th grade football, head coach Chris Mangus. The Richland Rams 8th grade football team finished the 2020 season with a record of 6 wins and 1 loss in 7 games. The Rams' explosive offense scored a total of 228 points and their stingy defense, which recorded 3 shutouts, only let up 58 points. Junior High Boys Soccer, Head Coach Scott Zimmerman. The Junior High Boys Soccer team had a successful season with a record of four wins, four losses, and one tie. The team was made up of a great mix of experienced and new players who worked hard in practice and in games. Junior High Girls Soccer, Head Coach Brad Sherman. The Junior High Girls team finished with a 500 record with a strong showing all year. Despite a small team and injuries, every game was close and hard fought with a strong 7th grade class. They will look to build on this year's performance next year. And now for varsity sports. Cross country head coach Pat Shirt. Seniors Dominic Donati, Vignesh Elangovan, Isabella Kern, and Charlie Lavander. The 2020 cross country season may have been a non-traditional one in a lot of ways, but it was certainly one our running Rams will never forget. Leading the boys through yet another competitive season was senior Charles Lavander. While freshman Anna Stewart paced the girls, whether celebrating a victory or recovering from an emotional defeat, one thing was constant. All of our teams gave their best day, day in and day out. Their hard work, dedication, and overall passion for running is something these athletes will carry with them well beyond their years here at Richland. As we celebrate the end of an eventful 2020 season, we are already looking forward to the fall of 2021. Varsity Football, Head Coach Brandon Bailey. Seniors Bryce Batchy, Autumn Fletchy, Jordan Ford, Jaden Kenzie, Nathan Kniss, Alan Mangus, Aiden Marshall, Josh Moore, Colin O'Dowd, Connor Reger, Jacob Sable, and Jalen Triplin. The 2020 season was one to remember. After spending the majority of the off season in quarantine, the team members were finally able to begin working out in the summer in preparation for the season. Even though the season was never guaranteed due to COVID-19, everybody worked extraordinarily hard in the weight room and on the field to prepare for the season. Although the team faced significant injuries to key players, everyone came together to win their third straight PIAA District 6 2A championship and earned another trip to the PIAA state playoffs. This is the first time in school history that a three-peat has been accomplished. Although the leadership and football ability of the seniors will be missed, a strong nucleus will return for the 2021 season. Golf head coach JJ Vasilko. Seniors Kennedy Brown, Connor Gibfried, Zachary Page, Alex Query, Alex Woodmar. This year for the golf team was a year of great improvement. Despite losing our number one player from a year ago, we shaved over 100 strokes off our team total. Four players qualified for sectionals as individuals, Corbin Kalp, Austin Artem, Brady Huss, Ben Farkas. The team award winners were MVP Austin Artem, most improved Brady Huss, and Rookie of the Year Mark Wechtenheiser. Boys soccer head coach Chad Durye, seniors Cullen O'Dowd. The Richland boys soccer team finished the season with a record of 6-6-2, six, six, and two, losing to Westmont in the quarterfinals of the D6 playoffs, 2-0. and o. The team was led by captains Cullen O'Dowd, who was the lone senior, and Trent Rosich, who was the leading goal scorer. During the season, they were able to improve immensely and display their ability to compete with the best competition in the Laurel Highlands Athletic Conference. The team will miss Cullen tremendously. However, they are also very excited for the opportunities that lay ahead of them. Cullen O'Dowd was named to the Santa Fun All-Star Classic. 
Girls soccer head coach John Futchy. Seniors Carly Colvin, Casey Costa, Autumn Futchy, Emily Layton, Morgan Philippin, Noel Rukowski, and Jordan Slavic. The girls finished this season in the District 6 quarterfinals with a record of 11 wins and 5 losses. The team played hard, and many underclassmen stepped up with the loss of two starters. This team should be very proud of the season that they had. Carly Colvin, Autumn Futchy, and Morgan Philippin were named to the Santa Fun All-Star Soccer Classic. Girls Tennis, Bill Stanko. The 2020 Varsity Girls Tennis season was unlike anything we have ever seen due to the global pandemic. Many changes needed to happen to make it safe for the girls to play, and through it all they stayed positive and followed the rules and were able to compete all season long. Much of the team was made up of freshmen and juniors, with one sophomore and no seniors. It was great to see the returning talent with the juniors who stepped up and were leaders for the younger girls. A few highlights for the season included three freshmen who regularly competed in matches. Madison Sibby, being one of them, won five of her 14 singles matches. It will be great to watch her skills develop over the next few years. Madison Sibby and junior Mel Melanie Gurko competed in district doubles and won their first match. They lost the next match to Bishop Guilfoyle in three sets after winning a hard-fought first set. With new courts being built at the school, the team is looking forward to next season. We will have a great group of returning girls and hopefully some new talent to add to the team as well. Girls Volleyball Head Coach Lori Beard, Seniors Tierney Bebout, Melanie Bowser, Lindsay Cassidy, Sarah Fetterman, Emily Carl, Logan Roman, Nicole Sukenik, and Noel Wechtenheiser. The girls' 2020 volleyball team was presented with some unprecedented challenges throughout the season. They persevered through COVID, half a season with no fans, and the possibility of playing their last game of the season on any given night. Even though the record was 4-10, uh, it did not reflect it. They had a successful season. Setter Logan Roman reached a Richland milestone of 1,000 career assists. The team was thankful to have the opportunity to compete on the volleyball court during such uncertain times, and they are proud of their season's accomplishments. Congratulations to Maddie Shirillo, Honorable Mention, District 6 AA All-District Volleyball Team. Laurel Highlands Athletic Conference. The following athletes were named by their coaches and or their teammates, the Laurel Highlands All-Conference Team. Boys Cross Country, Charlie Levander. Girls Cross Country, Anna Stewart. Football Offense, Griffin LaRue and Kellen Stahl. Football Defense, Bryce Batchy, Connor Reger. Golf, Austin Artem. Boys Soccer, Cullen O'Dowd and Trent Rosich. Girls Soccer, Bella Burke and Carly Colvin. Girls Tennis, Melanie Gurko, and Girls Volleyball, Logan Roman. We are now ready to acknowledge our fine arts and academic achievers. Congratulations to the following students for winning Student of the Month. The selection criteria of the Student of the Month are not to be based on any one characteristic of a student. However, the following criteria are considered when evaluating the students. Good citizenship, respectful to peers and teachers, class attendance, leadership qualities, positive attitude, classroom participation, demonstrators' responsibility, extracurricular activity, academic performance, and good work ethic. September Student of the Months are Julia Bauer, grade 7, Henry Lavander, grade 8, McKenna Philibin, grade 9, Brianna Reger, grade 10, Liam Delaney, grade 11, and Amy Griffith, grade 12. October Student of the Months are Mackenzie Lehman, Grade 7, Celeste Misla, Grade 8, Haley Dunlap, Grade 9, Sam Penna, Grade 10, Samantha Sylvia, Grade 11, and Emily Carl, Grade 12. November Students of the Month are Anthony Stragula, Grade 7, Simon Galuska, Grade 8, Lauren Heinrich, Grade 9, Cindy Langerholt, Grade 10, Juliana Stem, Grade 11, and Ashlyn Campagna, Grade 12. The following students were named Student of the Month at the Greater Johnstown Vocational Technical Center. September Cole Milne, Machine Tool Technology, and Kale Weaver, Auto Tech. October Ryan Blaylock, Diesel Tech, Josh Croyle, Machine Tool Technology, Xander McCree, Auto Tech. November Shannon Mikulski, Cosmetology. Congratulations to all Richland High School students of the month. The Challenge Program is a bridge between schools and businesses to provide incentives to promote students' academic success. High school students are awarded monetary incentives in five award categories, academic excellence, community service, STEM, attendance, and academic improvement. 
First Summit Bank has been awarding incentives to Richland students for numerous years. The following juniors and seniors won in these categories. Perfect Attendance, Kaylee Salman and Sarah Futterman. Academic Excellence, Liam Delaney and Vignesh Elangovan. STEM, Caden Milne and Jordan Ford. Community Service, Madeline Ringler and Camden Vera. Academic Improvement, Ryan Lushko and Xander McCree. As part of our Positive Behavior Program, RAMS, the following students are being recognized for their outstanding behavior and doing something great. RAM stands for the following, Respectful, Accountable, Motivated, Safe. Randy Burkholtz, Brooke Blystone, Finnegan Bradley, Jordan Ford, Tucker Linros, Tyler Marshall, Logan Pinucco, and Cooper Warshall. We are very proud of these students for their positive behavior in our school. Because of student behavior, like those exhibited by these students, our school is a better place for everyone. We encourage each and every one of you to strive to do something Rams special every day. The art club has been on the move this year. As Halloween approached, art club's members attended turn towards window painting at the Glosser Brothers building in Johnstown. Each year, the artists are asked to turn the area around Central Park into a spectacular scene. Many of the art club members worked hard to make their vision come to life. As Thanksgiving approaches, Mrs. Ringler's room phone starts ringing. It is the call of area businesses wanting the art club to decorate their windows with unique and eye-catching designs of the holiday. This year we went to O'Shea's Candies, Firehouse Subs, and Page Bedding. Each one of these projects requires students to meet after school, stand outside in the cold, and hope the daylight doesn't give away. Besides all of the fun and creativity poured out on each window, our club does not go home empty-handed or hungry. Most businesses feed our members or give the art club monetary donations. The 2020 Richland Marching Band had a fantastic Albert Strange season. The band presented our 2020 halftime show, Internet Meme Sensations, featuring music by Ricky Astley, George Michael, and Smash Mouth. We would like to congratulate our seniors and wish them all, Kimmy. We would like to congratulate our seniors and wish them well. Kimmy Deegan, Josie Hutzler, Brian Lanham, Spencer Farr, and Camden Barra. Congratulations to 17 Richland Choir members on being selected to the 2020-2021 PMEA District 6 Chorus Festival. These singers were selected based on their talent demonstrated in their individual video auditions. Mariam Ahmad, Leah Chum, Brianna Rager, Soprano 1, Riley Morgan, Malia Razaza, Alto 1, Sydney Dayton, Taylor Stratton, Alto 2, Zane Ford, Gavin Gybeck, Tenor 1, Ayush Sridhar, Tenor 2, Aaron Deffenbaugh, Liam Delaney, Ethan Kaczynski, Bass 1, Levi Beam, Addison Lesneski, Reese Myers, and Camden Vera, Bass 2. In February, these students will participate in a virtual festival under the direction of Corey Everly of Northwestern University. Additionally, the following 12 students will be eligible to submit auditions to the 2021 PMEA All-State Choir. Brianna Lee, Riley Sidney, Gavin, Zane, Ayush, Liam, Ethan, Camden, Levi, and Reese. Congratulations to our Richland Rams singers.